So going back to the cover letters, if I could really quickly, um, you know, I mentioned, hey, you know, please be brief, please be short. I've gotten many where they take the full page and I'll look at it and I go, I'm not going to read that, and, you know, just throw it over. Um, when you make them short and perhaps you are applying for a job because Uncle Bob told you about this position and Uncle Bob's been working at this company for some time or, or maybe it's a good close family friend or maybe it's even a parent um, that tells you about this position, I would include that in the, in the cover letter. Um, I think that's something that, that is important because I think that shows the employer that uh, you probably have a better understanding of the company than perhaps maybe some of the candidates that are going to apply for the job. Um, so I think that's something that you know you could do just you know again really briefly. One thing that I would caution you on is perhaps not use that connection to become too dependent. As a side question, would you prefer that the uh, cover letter reads more like a novel narrative story or something that is fact based? Boom, 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 that kind of stuff. I would prefer fact based. Okay. But you know, again, I, I work for a company that's very fact driven, very data driven. That's I, I you know, I, I love bullets. I mean, that helps me quite a lot. So, um, you know, it it would kind of depend on the company that you're applying for. Like, if you're applying for Rolling Stones, I mean, you know, to be a writer, I I don't think bullets are going to work for them. You know, <laughs> so again, it kind of depends on where you're going. If there is a way to um, call out what you may have done in your previous career and how it relates to the, you know, the, the company that you're applying for, the position that they're apl you're applying for, and how you could help them with whatever direction it is that they're going, that's sufficient. Again, you don't want to you know, give them everything in that cover letter. You kind of want to get them a little excited to, to talk to you and, and bring you in for that interview. That's, you know, that's, that's hopefully what will happen when you write something that's, you know, that's short, sweet, and simple.